Sean, I'm Dorian and I play in Blue Spills and you're watching Loud TV. Uh, I met Zach and Corey uh, a few years ago when I was playing with uh, with another band. I was playing with a couple of my friends, and uh, so I met them at the show. My band was opening for their band, and uh, and then after we uh, we started talking on Facebook, and uh, they were really nice to me. And six months after that show, they they started Blue Spills with Eileen on the vocals. She uh, she met uh, them when she was traveling in California, and uh, so they. They started the band uh, and uh, they quickly they, they sent me the demos and uh, they asked me to play on a few songs that became the first EP Bliss and uh, they asked me to come on tour with them in, uh, in Spain and Portugal. I was about 16 at the time and uh, so I was super excited and, uh, and I went with them and, uh, and then I went to Sweden. We started practicing and, uh, and they asked me to join the band for real. Okay. That's how we met, and uh, and then yeah, we just kept playing shows, and uh, we ended up getting signed with Nuclear Blast, and uh, and then we ended up getting a, a, a booking agency, and we ended up playing Hellfest. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, we actually really from the even like a year before we got signed, we were talking about it like. If we could get signed with Nuclear Blast, blah blah blah, we because you know they signed, they started signing the more retro rock bands like Graveyard, Witchcraft. So uh, it was, it really seemed like the label in that kind of music that really you know knew how to push a band without you know having it you know selling out or whatever you know. So we we were really excited and happy to join. Uh, I, it's just, uh, the, I guess, the music we all, you know, kind of grew up with from listening to our parents' music and uh, that's just the music we happen to really like. That's really that simple. We just really loved that kind of music. And then we ended up playing in a band that, you know, does that kind of music. That's, yeah, that's simple. We just, we're, we just love blues and, yeah blues and rock from the 60s and 70s and not not only that but it's it's really a main like an influence that we all share the blues. yeah it's it's really nice i mean we it's you know the crowds it's big crowds and uh, people already seem to enjoy our music so it's just, yeah, it's really nice we, we get to play. We have like 37, uh, about 30 festivals this summer. So it's a really busy schedule and we're really happy. It's, it's really, really cool. We, we, we're about to release our first record, which uh, it's gonna come out in July, July 25th. And, uh, and then we, uh, we're, preparing a tour in uh, in fall so it's going to be in Europe uh, like Germany and f maybe a bit of France and uh, Austria and Scandinavia and maybe in the UK so we're going to keep touring and promote the album and uh, and we're going to start you know we're already thinking about the next album so it's probably going to come up come out you know fairly soon Uh, we we talked about it a little bit. The target now for the dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we actually were supposed to uh, go to the U.S. in September, but it got it got cancelled. Sort of like uh, yeah. It's been a, we for we had a few offers like almost went to the U.S. but it never happened. But 
definitely sometime soon, I think. Uh, a few of the bands we, uh, for example, Graveyard, we really like, and uh, you know, bands in that kind of, uh, you know, uh, rival sons and uh, Fleet Foxes. It's 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 pretty soft. It's soft, more uh, uh, acoustic guitars and stuff. It's really nice. The Black Keys. <laughs> We'd be happy to tour with a lot of bands.